it's a messed up situation all around because really see all this shit started over a girl you know so to think it's it, it just this shit couldn't be hashed out This crazy. <laughs> crazy. About it, Discord cop. Brother oh, Dirk Davon Banks. Oh. Brother Dirk. Brother Dirk, man. Oh. That's his real name. No rap yeah, name. Dude. Real name, man. Brother Dirk. Picked up this morning. Well, actually, a couple hours ago. In Broward County, Florida. Uh, man, arrested <laughs> for murder for hire. Well, the brother's name is uh, Mustafa Abdul Malik. Malik. Oh yeah, the brother Muslim. Yeah, I, I forgot he changed his life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I forgot. And I forgot. Like cheekies and shit or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. Muslim now. That's crazy. Yeah, but uh, for the sake of uh, you know, saying the government, the brother's name is Dirk Davon, man. Let me call the brother. Can, it is what it is. Can, can they call him that even after he? Ch- he changed his name like can they still call him uh, yeah i mean you know uh ron artest changed the name to middle world peace but li- like technically his name is still ron artest oh. saying so i mean it just goes by what you know these people as that's really all it is like i remember diddy did the whole name change to love that didn't work out now we still call him diddy brother love or just love just love oh. yeah that, that was his indictment papers too love that's what i'm saying <laughs> brother but the brother is sean puffy diddy combs man um but yeah dirk man um i'm gonna be honest the situation is interesting i remember uh when that when i first heard about you know little pab getting killed in la everybody assumed it was something to do with hoovers and some la shit you know, because Quando's from Savannah and he claimed to be rolling the 60s Crip and all that. I thought it was Hoover's that did that shit. I'm going to be completely honest. I had no idea it had anything to do with Chicago. I had, I had no idea it had anything to do with some conspiracy, conspiracy to commit murder. Uh, I was none the wiser. Most people just assume that it was just some L.A. politics shit, you know. Quando just happened to not be in the car at the time his friend unfortunately caught you know what I'm saying what he caught and he passed no quando was in the car right just didn't hit him uh i forgot how the situation yeah. went about I, I don't think he was necessarily there or i don't even know but nah, he was there he just he jumped out the car and be like oh okay you know, okay he was jumped out of the car like yelling and screaming oh man they call him at the right the the perfect time low key i mean i think about it damn yeah, they call him at a at a pretty good time. It's just unfortunately, like, yeah. Um, I'm I'm, a, I don't know, man. You know, we know how this shit's a messed up situation all around. Cause really, see, all this shit started over a girl. You know, so to think it's it it just this shit couldn't be hashed out. I I just you know it's kind of crazy. But I do want to say this, you know, Meech coming out, being free, but possibly possibly looking on to be on his way out you know you got ynw melly you know he's been sitting for i don't know how long then half a decade behind bars i'm getting tired of the, the hip-hop minstrel show man i mean i'm really I, it's just starting to be it's just getting annoying you know that's why i don't say free nobody man like i, I, I let that be I, these men gotta handle the consequences on their own look at someone like surf he don't got nothing to do with hip hop, but he's a battle rapper. He made hip hop music. But that's another one, man. He's been outside for I don't know how long. There's been opportunities for him to get out the streets forever. The man is well past that. He got enough money to be able to do what he want. He got a kid. You know what I'm saying? He could be out the way. But according to the documents, that whatever they got him under, who, he's who considered a, a gang leader. What is it? I said, look at Sosa. Yeah, so the thing with, 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 with Keith is that, you know, 
I'm proud of Keith. You know what I'm saying? I think him getting banned from Chicago is easily the best thing that ever happened to him. Like, he basically wasn't allowed to come back until like last year. So that He's shit. Not allowed though. He was banned. Wow, he was banned from the city. Rahm, Rahm Emanuel, the mayor of Chicago at the okay. time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he was banned back like nine years ago. Uh, and that really had to do with to that. That was really due to the to the music. You know, they felt like he was just uh, he, he incited a lot of violence in the city and he was a danger. So he got permanently banned. Uh, that's why he moved to L.A., you know, and he's been there ever since. Uh, funny enough, him and Dirk got into it a couple years back over some like internal shit. And uh, they kind of been on and off in terms of being cool with each other. And, you know, so, you know, they decided to take sides now. Dirk and Keith don't directly know each other, ain't grow up with each other, anything like that. But they do have ties to one another because of their, you know, gang organization affiliation and all that. So it's a little bit different. But they didn't directly grow up with each other. Um, I just feel like, man, there's just been too many that pass between Fredo pass, you know, Trey Savage pass, Blood Money pass, Dirk's brother got killed not too long ago. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, OTF Newski got killed not too long. Dirk was actually there when that happened. He just so happened to technically not be there when it happened, but he was literally yeah, like was around the door or something, right? Yeah. So it's like, bro, like you caught a gun case not too long ago, you know, caught another one, um, literally beat a, 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 an attempt charge, I believe, or kidnapping charge at one point too. It's like, bro, what are you doing, man? Like, you won a Grammy like two years ago or one, a year ago. And it's like, man, you beating cases left and right and still catching them. Who is that? Talking Dirk. about Dirk. Oh, Dirk. Okay, okay. All, oh, yeah. All this happened in the span of like nine, ten years. Okay, okay. He won the Grammy for the J. Cole shit? Uh, yeah, for all my life. Okay. Yeah. All my life. And then, you know, was fighting that case in, in Atlanta when, when, when Vaughn was alive. So I mean I just oh, I, yeah I just, he had that shit I forgot yeah so I'm like bro like this brother's 32 years old you got six kids man it's like dirt six yeah only other person that got more kids than him is is, is is Keith Keith got about eight or nine you know what I'm saying he's not even thirty but you talking about for bro you guys right. Yeah, yeah, Chicago, yeah, Chicago specifically. Like, you got six kids, bro. You got about two, three baby mothers. You know what I'm saying? You got a fiance, well, you know, India. You know, she been down with him for like a minute now. You got a couple kids with her. I don't know, man. It's just like, bro, like, I'm, a, I'm, listen, this might come off disrespectful, you know, like, yeah. You didn't really know Vaughn like that, bro. Let's just keep it a bean. You didn't. Y'all not even. Y'all not. Y'all not related. You know what I'm saying? You got no f ties other than being from the same gang organization. You both BD, bro. You did not grow up with that man. You barely knew that man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't grow up on the same, uh, on the same block. You're not a part of the same set. You're a part of the same gang organization, not the same set. It's like, bro, you didn't directly know this man. So to put your life on the line. And decide like yeah we gonna we gonna you know what I'm saying we gonna go from city to city get shows shut down and make this records for the next four years over something that could have been prevented I just find extremely silly like I find it really silly Vaughn hopped out that car on his own choice yeah. and that's where it all started at. like uh well I mean it's it's things that led to that but I mean right. Just, with them over 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 no yeah 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 oh um, virginia virginia um and then <laughs> young boy did the song with uh asian doll or something like that yeah and, and, and was dissing vaughn and, 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 and dissing a, a couple more people after that but it's like can you blame him like vaughn tried to act like that shit wasn't important it was like it was nothing like all right I, we ain't really beef with them niggas ain't nothing but we hop out the car you carry a conversation in condo, mm -hmm. you get to, you get to throwing hands on him. His friend sees what you're doing, bro, and little Tim backs out and, and, and hits you two, three times. 
You know what I'm saying? And, and, and on top of that, it's not like Vaughn was by himself. You know, you had niggas there. Unfortunately, guns end up jamming. Tim Tim would have lost his life that night too. He yep. got slid over and everything. The, yeah. that was the gun jammed. Cops came through. He was about to get shot at again. Cops shot the other homie. So I mean, two lives lost. I think the cops killed the guy that was standing over Tim. Uh, they got yeah, and, out with the cops after that. That's what I'm saying. The other one, what's the name? Muski or Munna or one of them. They got caught up in that shit with with Duck. One of them was one of the the, the, the shooters, uh, in, in Duck's case. Oh, you talking about what's his name? Um. OTF, I, and I know Beans with an M though. He, he, nah, he, not not OTF. He's from Munna. Oh, uh-huh. I think his name is Munna. One of it, it, I think it is Munna, but he got caught up in that case. Like I think right after that or before that, it was like around the same time. But even that was another case of like some idiot shit because the, the, you could tell they were thirsty to catch him because he got killed downtown, like in a, in a very open area, like near near a, a shopping district. So you could tell they you, if they wouldn't have caught him there, they probably wouldn't have had a chance to really catch him again because Duck was kind of on his way to becoming the next, you know what I'm saying, Chicago star around the time. So it's, I don't know, man. It's just like, if they end up catching him in that case over, over some alleged, I mean, I don't know. I know what happens in these type of cases, like rapper, from the streets or part of an organization ends up, you know, saying getting signed. Uh, and then he starts funding his gang, throwing guns and 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 and, and drugs and laundering money. You know, what I'm saying throwing money to the guys when they get free, throwing money on, on their books, taking care of their family, taking care of their kids. Yeah. You know, having entourage and niggas around so you could keep them out the way. Yada 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 yada. It's just like an obligation thing. And that happens for years on end. He basically can't walk away, technically. Mm. Especially if you're part of a literal and literal organization. There's rules and regulations and all that sort of stuff. So it becomes beyond just being famous and having six million dollar homes and, and kids and yada yada yada. You still a part of some I, and to me it don't really make no damn sense, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because you can, to an extent, you can leave. Like, you do have a choice. Like I said, Keith left. And a lot of them people he don't associate with for a reason. All these interview, interviews they done did over the air. Keith is the reason why we even doing this shit. But I don't like that nigga. I would, if he would have stayed, he would have got killed. I don't, da, da, da. It's like, yeah, bro, y'all would have killed that man years ago. Just going to keep it a buck. I agree with you. Like, I mean, they tried to. They tried to. Like, like yeah. he probably would have been killed by now or tried to yeah. attempt it, but nigga had enough sense to get the fuck around here. Uh, but like I said, bro, once you get to that status, uh, okay, you know we up. I would think, feel like, man, you know what? We beat the game, bro. Like, we, I don't, I don't even understand how brothers with money like that can even think about murder, beef, and and killing at that at that point. Like, it's all about supposed to be about luxury females and living y'all best life and shit or whatever like all that other shit is for some hood shit but you know you can't take the problem the is though you can't take the hood out of a nigga man <laughs> you got you got dirt right you got his pops big dirt mm-hmm. he was in the feds as well got released and you know was on some gang reform shit at one point was on some you know um some 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 truth unity type talk it didn't really work or last. That's usually what happens because people get to talking, emotions get fueled, and, and and things don't work out the way they're supposed to. And then it's back to back to back shootings all over again. But like I said, unfortunately, the difference with Chicago gangs, what I noticed, and 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 any other gang is that it's not necessarily it's an organization. You know what I'm saying? So you 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 have a hierarchy. You know what I'm saying? And there's just rules and regulations you just got to follow no matter where you are. You don't follow them. I mean, you might as well just disassociate yourself or you will die. That's just what it is. You're going, you're going to die. Like, people are going to feel a type of way. Some people are going to be jealous. Some people feel like you, you just not, you're not doing what you're supposed to do as a leader. And they feel, they're just going to feel an obligation to do whatever they have to do. Like I said, Dirk lost a cousin already. 
He lost his own blood brother. Keith done lost a thousand cousins. Keith done lost his own brother. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, at some point, like, that many dead people should at least help you understand. Like, I don't, I don't want nothing to do with this. Like, my brother's gone. My cousin's gone. You know what I'm saying? My 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 artists that have assigned to my label gone. Damn, like I you know what? Like let me go ahead and convert to Islam and make peace <laughs> and stay out the way. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing pictures of Steven Jackson and old block and you know, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, they they they're in the heat jobs and taking their dean and you know, they're praying on on the rugs and I'm like, uh, all right. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe Dirk might, you know what I'm saying, giving turkeys away and talking about unity. And I, I'm in my brain, I'm like, okay, cool. At one point, people felt like the type of music he was making was just very one dimensional because he wasn't necessarily, quote unquote, living the life. So people didn't want to hear about that shit no more. But he got enough fans to where it's like, it's whatever. You can rap about the same shit and no, nobody really going to care. You know what I'm saying? But. You already out the way. Like, what more do you like? What like? I don't. I just. I don't know, man. It's just getting yourself Dirt caught up with that. Well, huh? Where was where were uh was Dirt staying at? Dirk, uh, I believe, was in Atlanta okay. or California, one of the two. But I, 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 I completely forgot his own son got caught up in, <laughs> you know, shooting his, his stepfather at one point. I was like, that was like a couple months back. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, like, I just, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I just. Uh, can, can we say, like, since Nips, uh, Nipsey died, like, shit has been just, like, wow. Just, like, really off the chain. W would you go back to Nip dying? Yeah, Nip, Nip, Nip passed, like, five years ago. That's another situation that, you know, could have been avoided. But would you the say thing. That I would say a, a lot has happened since then. Yeah, because he was like the first in the wave of shit that this kept happening. You know what I'm saying? Like him, Lil Loaded, you know, Vaughn, um, Juice World, you know, and then many, many, many more to follow. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like an onslaught. But yeah, you know, Pusha T getting locked up. You know what I'm saying? Like I just Big Thirty and. Whoever else enchanting and uh pop, you know, like literally just back to back to back to back. You know, and in the case of Nip, that's another situation of some in-house shit, you know? Not all of the sixties get along with each other. And they got a big ass neighborhood. And they got different like fit five, six different factions, and they all don't necessarily get along. So they all you know, that's that's another case of you know what I'm saying? Niggas killing each other within each other because they have a huge ass organization. Imagine, you know what I'm saying? Walking across somebody from the same set as you and you don't even know that they're from the same gang because of how big and, and why these streets stretch. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's insane to me. Like, getting locked up with somebody, you find out the one from 60, you from 60, but you end up fighting a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just because y'all from different, uh, different parts of the same set so you know that whole shit with nip them niggas happened to be from the same gang but they were from different sets and it was just a lot of goofy shit that happened and you know he lost his life unfortunately in this case you know like we got dirt that was kind of caught up in two the duck shit and now this so they've been trying to catch Kwando for a minute that's why a lot of his shows being canceled and you know he didn't have to like move really, really low. Niggas showing up to 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 take pictures in front of you know Savannah, Georgia, and blah blah blah, and all this goofy shit for years, you know. And and they never been able to really catch him, you know. And uh, Lil Tim being freed after that whole situation didn't make things any better. You know, what I'm saying that Quando releasing his own diss songs and whatever, it's like. Just a really annoying situation all around. Like it's just, it's just very annoying. I'm thinking Dirk would, would stay out the way, but like I said, like it, it's, it's bigger than him. He got killers on his payroll. Everybody around him don't feel the same way as him, even if he wants to get out the way. So like, it's just different. Like, <laughs> you 
make I remember the like, story about 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 Keith getting robbed. You know what I'm saying? By 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 his own peoples in Cali, and him having to shoot at niggas. You know what I'm saying? Kick niggas out because he was getting robbed by his own niggas. Like Boss Top, you know, coming to Cali and stealing clothes and shit. And them niggas having to clap him and shit because he want to be on some goofy shit. And then getting mad because he sent his ass back to Chicago. It's like, nigga, what are you doing here? I, I got you in Cali out here with me. And you want to be stealing my clothes? Like, you th and you think I'm going to fuck with you? Nah, bro. Like, uh, like nigga, I got nine kids. Like, I got, like... What you got going on, man? So, if he could have left and stayed, stayed out the way, I feel like Dirk could have done the same, but... Like, the night the Vine got killed, bro, like, the guys he was with are the ones that, you know, actually survived. Uh, yeah. Um, those brothers went back to the hotel and, and stole the jewelry and the money and the right. shit or whatever. I don't even know if it was stolen. It, it, was a, it was a different story to that. I think they were just taking stuff. I don't know the backstory. It was something to that, but it's like I just I'm sorry, man. Like Dirk and Vaughn did not grow up with each other, man. Like they're not. Like Vaughn is from O Block. Dirk is from Lamron. You know, that's just different. It's 300, then it's 600. It's just different. It's not the same, but it is the same, but it's different, but it's really not. Either way, the niggas don't are they not childhood friends. Okay. Mama don't know they mama and you know ain't have sleepovers with each other, bro. It was not that type of situation. So I just didn't understand what obligation he felt like he needed to have to Vaughn. You know, I just I, I'm just kind of bewildered. If anything, like you you have Vaughn inheriting some shit that started with you and, and, and young boy for nothing. Like over a baby mom's like would you think it was just him trying to pull one of his young youngins out the hood and like kind of oh yeah yeah that was definitely the youngin out the hood situation yo definitely like me and me and vaughn the same age like yeah. vaughn was about to he, he passed at 27 but he would have been 30 this year you know uh yeah he you know he signed him uh to his label only the family label and vaughn blew up it was at one point where he had a bigger trajectory than dirt you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of his songs were ringing off in the club. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he, he had some chart-topping hits. Projects was ringing off, everything. And that was when the span of, like, a year. Like, Vaughn was hot. Like, scorching hot. But this dude literally just came out of jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally just came out. So imagine you're just coming out. You beat a murder. You know, and a whole bunch of other murders, allegedly, that you were said to have done. And you still got that mentality, you know, like it never left. You're still the same person, you know, like nothing really changed. And now you outside, you got all this access to bread and all this access to power. And you're still the same person that you, want, you once were. That is an insane amount of power. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, I don't know, man. It's like, it's like, it's like giving a fucking baby, you know what I'm saying? fucking sugar like it was just a dumb shit all that shit was dumb man like I, I just you know it was a, a point in time i just got tired of listening to dirt like it's getting annoying you got a house on the hills and you rap you still rapping about guns you still well, like, just hopped on what Vaughn was doing like uh, yeah but the thing is dirt 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 was signed for a while you know what i'm saying i remember he was signed to coke boys at one point <laughs> you know, that, that, that was that, that was the was wave. Terrible era, bro. I didn't I didn't like that era of dirt, but me, you know. Hold up, Kujo. Let me shout my yeah, boy yeah. from the uh, Cave Face Podcast, man. Nico and Soda, appreciate y'all coming over, y'all, bro. I salute, salute to y'all, man. Salute, salute, man. Salute, bro. Yeah, yeah. Man, you so, you soda, soda, man, soda, you soda, soda, soda army game, though, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Y'all yeah, can't talk to me crazy. Yeah, I got, you know, <laughs> call back up right now, man. So, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't fuck with me. Oh, you you got ask, is that the same soda I know? I was about yeah, to say. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's okay. the soda. It's good, man. It's good, bro. It's good, man. It's good, man. Soda pop, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a pop, man. <laughs> Yo, <that's laughs> man. That, that's awesome, <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, but Nico, and so y'all can, you know, y'all can chime yeah, in. I, I heard, time I heard if you in the army, Koa sends you a little statue of himself. Is that true? Nah, bro. We <laughs> yeah. Like, bro. This yeah, nigga always got a face on. Shout out to Generals and rulers, all shit. Koa don't see you shit, man. <laughs> you yeah. your medals, man. Go ahead, though, man. But, like, oh, hold on, hold on, Kujo. But, like, yeah. I just feel like, bro, like, sometimes, like, when niggas, you know, they get out the hood and shit, bro, like, it, to me, that's that's beating the game, bro. Like, you know, like, I would never yeah. imagine having this shit. So, why? I'm just from the era, bro. We don't really worry. If it had beef or whatever, like, we'll handle that right then and there. But that's not something I go to sleep thinking about every night and this and that and the third, like, that I go outside. I'm not going to a party looking for some niggas that I had beef with or whatever. Like, bro, we looking for bitches and, you know, trying to enjoy ourselves and shit like that or whatever. It was never that in my era, bro. In this era, just like, I don't know, bro. This shit make make young boy look like a damn genius to me if, if you want <laughs> me. <he, laughs> Bro, but okay. the thing is with a young boy, I, I would say I said Chicago like, like uh uh Keith getting banned from Chicago saved his life. Mm-hmm. Young boy being on house arrest saved his. I'm gonna I'm be completely honest, it saved his life too. Mm-hmm. In certain circumstances. I already told you, like Dirk, when his cousin had had got killed, he was in the car, they were headed to the mall. You know, he just so happened to not be there at that moment. If he was in the car too, they would have got his ass. He, I don't even think he was the uh, his cousin was the initial target i, I believe dirk was yeah. so he just so happened to leave a car come back and you know what I'm saying his cousin you know what I'm saying pass now mind you you know the e- the emts i believe had a chance to save newski and uh, uh i believe uh something to do with like the M- emts that's kind of like one of them not really want to help him because of some concern with his breathing and everything so they i believe they had a chance to save him but they just felt like another day another black man you know what i'm saying shot there's no need to take him to the hospital to save his life let, let him pass away here you know so it's like god damn like they would have both been laid out you know this is around the time dirt really just got popping too like I think he had cut his dreads and everything like this. I think this was around this time, like 2013, 2014, somewhere around that. So I'm not going to say uh, to an extent, like he was still kind of caught up in that. He had caught a gun charge around that time. You know, he just got popping. Niggas still trying to kill you because you still in the city. And then, you know, I think around 2015, 2016, 17, 18, you know, he meets India, moves from Chicago to I think Atlanta um and the rest is history you know what I'm saying like I don't know other than like some home invasion shit you know what I'm saying I remember when that that situation happened like he wasn't like directly caught up in anything but it's not like it was completely unavoidable like niggas still wanted to kill I just told you about Duck like Duck was on his way up and they call him at at the shopping district downtown they really were bloodthirsty for him so it wouldn't have been any different for dirt you know uh i don't know i've seen one crash like every click i said this earlier in uh in the dead server like i've seen one click has uh, a crash out dummy but i've never seen uh a group of crash out dummies that's that's the shit that's fucking with me because I'm, oh yeah when you have a group of crash out dummies somebody's gonna eventually tell i was just sitting here thinking like damn who the fuck dirk can tell on he can't tell on no oh that's person. funny you say that because one of them is on the wire i know but i'm trying to yeah. figure out like who the fuck can dirt actually tell on tell like he can't, right, right. he can't like use the end of all like so you that that's just fucked up bro especially dealing with a death uh death sentence like uh the death penalty like you could go to jail for life and you know still have money and kind of live like a king in jail but when motherfuckers talking about putting you on death row like that's that's something totally different bro so that's, i yeah. seen those brothers was charged and and it's possibility they can get that i was like yeah nah one of these niggas gonna tell anyway bro like them brothers ain't going down with no death like nah that's something i ain't gonna lie the fact that I found out one of them was was wearing a wire that whole time, you know, and Dirk was funding him. Like the minute he got out of jail, it was kind of crazy, you know. Like get that man bread to start over and and have a new life, and the nigga was a, uh, an informant the entire time. Like 
Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen to him, but it's not. It's probably not gonna look too good. But I, I don't know, man. Like he was around some real deal, like you know what I'm saying, like real deal killers. Like so, it, I think for them, Chicago is just different, man. It's about principle, you know. Like it's just about principle. Like hey, take one of mine, I, I take one of yours, you know. And no matter where I am in life that's just how it is i think that's why a lot of them just don't stay but they don't stay for long they get they they bread and they leave immediately i don't really see no reason to stay for her herb left bibi left like bibi went to college man bibi became an executive like he discovered juice world and kid Leroy, and you know like he don't even make music no more he left herb left um well, it's like it's a Saba, Chance the Rapper, all these people, they leave. Or they just get, you know, some home in the suburbs of Illinois. Way, 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 way far from the BS. Because it's like, what's the point of sticking around? Like, like, like what, what's, what's the point? It's, I don't Her, think it's any morals in the street right now. Like, bro, loyalty. Uh, ain't no morals. It ain't, it ain't. It. So, I mean, when you had uh, mafia niggas started telling and, you know, Speaking on, you know, a secret society, you understood that us black folks, we didn't stand a chance for that shit or whatever, like, bro. So I right. understand, like, that's one of the reasons why the mob never allowed drug dealing because, you know, you get pop for all the other shit, money laundering, uh, racketeering, and all that shit or whatever. That's 10, 10, 15 years, maybe, you know, but you be pop for some drugs like you could be doing 20 30 like when you hear those type of numbers motherfuckers are like oh no hell no nah, i'm not even about to even you know fuck all that who Wait. can i tell on? i right. tell on my mama i tell on her ass if i have to or whatever but it's you don't i mean i, I just don't know bro like that's just a wild situation to, to be in especially with dealing with the fucking death uh sentence bro like right. death row is man death row stinks bro I, i've never been on death row but i've i've heard news i'm back and tell me stories about like it stink over there and everything like bro you don't want to be you don't want to be on the fucking <laughs> death row fam that motherfucking stink man like nah you don't want to be over there bro that's not a place you want to be you know, in jail like you i mean you want your sanity so you need to be around people but you know they'll yeah. put you on that 23 and one shit you know to keep you you know to fuck your mind up bro so you gotta uh i don't know man just a fucked up situation i hate that it had to happen to dirk i think i do think that uh i think he got a whiff of it a while back that's why he went muslim and you know try to start changing his you know yeah yep. everything about him and shit like that so i think he kind of got a whiff of it uh so and changed his name like i i i think he probably you know one his lawyer probably told they probably investigating you but when you know these guys got busted you know that was the nail in the coffin so did you see dirt trying to escape to uh where where was it cuba where was it marabi where dirt was trying to escape to uh i didn't even know he was trying to escape yeah, yeah he was trying to go to italy or some shit and then Italy, uh, some, somewhere else, Cuba. Man, uh, he was trying to get to one of those states that don't extradite you, like yeah, one of them countries. I mean, one of them I already, I, and I believe he, he already got two strikes. You know what I'm saying, caught a couple gun charges. You know, what I'm saying, beat an attempt not too long ago. So it's like, bro, like what? <laughs> This is all the spin of him being around the time before he got popping, while he got popping, and now be fighting a murder for hire charge after you just won a Grammy. It was Dubai and Switzerland. Uh, he was trying Dubai. to Dubai. Yeah, so, I mean, tickets for a bit. Uh, then he tried to get a private jet to go to um, Dubai and Switzerland. But the FBI found out about it. And uh, it was a little too late. late. Yeah, he was that close. Uh, that's where old boy at. What's his name? Russell. Um, oh, Russell Simmons. Yeah, that brother ain't came back yet, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, and he got his own yeah. own that brother, fight. That brother ain't come back yet, man. Hey, uh, yeah. Uh, this 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 is some this some nigga shit, man. I'm gonna just keep it a buck, man. This some nigga shit. 
at the end of the day, this this really could have been avoided. I remember all, man, all them truces they try to have. Oh, it's peace, man. We're going to let it go. You know, the toy drive and everything. And, and, and the, I remember that shit. Man. Shit was so performative and fake, man. Like, it's just... These Chicago niggas, bro, they love to break truces, man. Like, they love to break some damn truces. Get right back into the shit. After, after them, you know, oh, yeah, we done settled the dust and blah, 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 blah. That's why I could at least say, man, salute to FYBJ, man. Like, you know, he done lost Doug. He done lost his blood brother and a couple other uh, millions of other friends. And he, he went a completely different route, you know? End up becoming a YouTube personality, doing interviews on No Jumper. Now he got his own interview uh, YouTube uh, segment. You know what I'm saying? And that's popping. And, you know, he's been promoting peace and trying to get in touch with with Dirk and people from the other side, even though he got direct ties to that side as well because he happens to be a BD, but claim, you know, 63rd. But he been out the way for a minute, you know? It's like, bro, at some point, man, y'all got to just... I, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's been, it's been cases, man, I done heard, like, one dude... That was rapping at one point. He was 18, 19. Got killed in the summer. Uh, got shot 19 times in the chest. They said that dude was reportedly to have killed 10 people. You know? Now that was, uh, that was, let me talk about Lil Jojo. That was years ago. But this was a new, this was a new, new shit. It was some, some dude named Lil Jeff. And, you know, that happened to be over some shit that he started. You know, nigga ended up stealing some shit he wasn't supposed to steal. And, you know, people got, you know, his, people got killed behind that. And then, you know, decided to go to war over that shit. Ended up, you know, killing damn near 10 people. And then he got his ass smoked on his way to kill somebody else. It's like, bro, like, I don't know why I think y'all could rap and do this shit and then rap about it. And think you just finna survive. Like, it don't, it don't work like that, man. It's just... It don't work like that, man. This is not a game. This ain't TV. I know they know that. But it's like, man, I still remember the shit when, you know, when Wallow, when, you know, Gillian Wallow was trying to preach to this man. Like, Wallow looked this man in the eyes and was crying tears. You know what I'm saying? Went to jail 20 years off a of robbery. You know, his own brother got killed. And he had a chance to kill his brother's killer and didn't take the chance. Told that story to Dirk and everything. And that, Dirk looked that man in his eyes. Man, you sincere, bro. Da, 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 and didn't listen at all. Like, did not listen. It's and went in one ear out the other. Is that a case of, uh, I mean, because I've, I've been there before. I'm pretty sure all of us have been there before when we was, you know, I mean, early 20s. Especially when you hit 21, like, no one can tell you anything. But is that like a case of uh, this younger generation is not listening to anything people are, who are old, older than them uh, right now? Like because I mean I've been there before. Like my uncles, like you know they, you know cousins and uncles, they told me a lot of shit or whatever. But I didn't understand that shit until I actually went to jail, and then I had to sit there and you know be be under that pressure and uh, you know facing murder charge and you know nobody's trying to put money on my book but my mom and like you know so I, i've been there before but like i i don't think like i heard kevin gates say he don't he don't give no advice to the to the younger generation because like it's like throwing bricks at a uh, bricks at a i forgot what you said it's like throwing something at a uh, brick wall rocks at a brick wall like it's not you know it's not gonna get to you but i've been there too before so i'm trying to figure out if, like i don't I, th I know we was ignorant cool though like growing up but i think these younger like these niggas right here is like it's it's past ignorant yeah i mean right now to be honest like we we just grew up in an entirely different generation structurally you know a lot of these dudes are 16 17 and they're running games by themselves you know there really are no ogs a lot of them locked up for a very long periods of time because they're caught up in indictments or caught up on murder charges or something. And so there's only so much reach they can have um, within them walls. And, you know, the kids outside, they end up just doing whatever damn near, you know, unless you got that amount of pull. 
Um, and so lack of structure, lack of guidance, you know what I'm saying? Then you got a lot of these after school programs being shut down. And the thing with Chicago is it hella schools that are shut down. You know, the public education system there is horrendous. And, you know, Chicago is very segregated. So hella charter schools shut down, hella public schools shut down, hella private schools shut down, hella after school programs shut down. So where are you supposed to go after school if you want to get away from the streets? What are you supposed to do um, as an alternative? You know, like where the trade schools at, where 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 the, where the programs at. You know what I'm saying? Like if I if you don't have those, like what well, like what what other option is there? Then you got the instances of even if there are programs, you know, you still got these people like that end up catching these kids, you know, after school and doing whatever because they feel like that's necessary. So it's like a it's like a double edged sword, you know, but. Man, I ain't gonna lie, like, even even where I'm at, you know, there's been a lot of creative players pop up. Never seen these people a day in my life. And they just making up neighborhoods as they go along. These motherfuckers 17, 18. I've never seen them ever. Like, you know, I'm going down blocks and I'm thinking this is a certain block that was here. And now you see a bunch of kids that's there. And I'm like, i never seen y'all before. Like, who the fuck are y'all? Like, where'd y'all come from? And you see them on the block. There's nobody, oh, there's nobody 10 years older than nobody 20, 30. Nobody, the oldest is like 27, 28, and they just doing whatever they want. It's like, oh, well, all right. And I'm not, I'm out the way. I've never been in the streets anyway, so I'm not finna tell nobody what to do in here. I just, it's just, you know, it's whatever. But it's like, bro, it's just no structure, man. It's just, you know, a lot of the OGs is gone. Larry Hoover, you know, they done found a way to have trumped up charges on him for years, and he been, he been along for four or five decades. Associates, I don't, I don't think they should have had. It's only a two, three motherfucker. He should have been around, around him that he should have been giving them orders, and they gave it to the other guys. I mean, that's how the ma mafia is structured. That's why they could never pin anything been big on the bosses and shit or whatever, because you know right. they could never put nothing on them. But yeah, I, these, this, yeah, this shit is kind of wild. As organized as the shit is supposedly, it's not really organized. If that even makes any sense, like is that just black folks though? Like we we don't. No, nah, no, nah, it's not. Organized. It's not like something that's specific to us. I mean, the criminal organization, you know, whoever has the most money tends to be the one that is like purported to be the leader, you know, and that's not really the best idea. But that's usually what happens. Um, in, yeah, in these yeah. cases. Yeah, y'all killed Malcolm up there in, in Jersey. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry to say, bro. <laughs> y'all killed Malcolm up there, brother from Jersey, man. <laughs> he killed Malcolm, bro. Oh, hey, man. man. Hey, man. I had to do it, bro. Hey, like, yeah, bro. Like, come on, man. There was at least four or five yeah, alleged man. killers of Malcolm, bro. It wasn't just one person, man. And that dude passed away years ago, man. Like, oh, Malcolm? that is no, I'm talking about the dude, one of the people who allegedly has something to do with his murder. He passed away a while back. But it was, yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah, I don't know what y'all talking about. I'm late. What's up? We're talking about the dirt. Uh, I just give you input on what you think about the dirt situation. Uh, by the way. I, don't, I don't know. I was late today. I heard he got locked up. I don't really know what's going on. That's all I heard. Cause I... Oh, yeah. He just, uh, they just, uh, well, actually, his whole crew had got locked up first. And oh, they damn. These niggas they out here getting excited. Yeah, they picked yeah, the they guys up yesterday. The side yeah. baby situation? Damn. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. They picked up. But, uh, but th this was the thing with me. Uh, when Like, when you get picked up and shit oh, like that, bro, they're just going to tell you your charge. They're not going to tell you what you, you uh, life, you could possibly get life or uh the death sentence uh penalty or nothing like that like that's the media part of it like they don't tell right. you that when they when you uh, get your charge or you go to magistrate and shit like that and i don't even think that looked like that shit happened last night i think when they picked those those guys up so they didn't see the judge till this morning so I right don't, yeah i don't think that was a part of 
that just was something the media was putting out there. Oh, they the possibility they could get the death sentence or shit like that. So that was just escape. But uh, I mean, Dirk was trying to escape last night when he heard they got picked up, and the brother missed two flights, man. Then he booked a private mm-hmm. jet and he got they caught. Probably, yeah, they probably was already on him, like you know, so they can't, you know what I'm saying. They, they definitely been looking at it for a long time, especially considering he had an informant in his crew for like a minute. Like so. Years. Probably been waiting a while. That's why I said about the Damn. the structure shit. Like that guy should, was was supposed to never be next to dirt at all, bro. Like he's supposed to be talking to somebody else. Nah, yeah. dirt shadowed him out on on, on 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 the yeah. long. The thing is with that is um, I also believe they got him on tape. Allegedly threatening, you know, kill yeah, threatening that. witnesses. Yeah, yeah. So they got him on tape, allegedly, you know, threatening to kill witnesses as well. So no dirt. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I believe something to do with the case. But yeah. So you know, basically, they told you know, business would get taken care of. So you know what's crazy, bro? These brothers are gonna get more time than Kale's got, bro. That's <laughs> fucked up, bro. <laughs> you always be, bring bro. it back to our hey, Kelly. Bro. bro, that's Kale's, crazy, bro. Nah, <laughs> Kale's will be whole, so it'll be for these brothers, man. Oh, no, nah, <laughs> hell no, <laughs> hell no. That's <laughs> crazy, hell no. By the way, uh, uh, every time you bring up Kale's, man, that's a perfect segue to transition, man. The next topic, man. So. I do this shit here every time.